my name is Justin, and this is my review of the new Dynamic Disc Paratrooper Bag. We'll start out with the thing that everyone wants to know most, disc capacity. Now, right now I've got pretty much everything set up to how I've been playing it with tournaments. I've played with this bag already in two tournaments. Both of those tournaments were two rounds in a single day, so quite a lot of usage of the bag for a short time, and two leagues, so I've been using it quite a bit already. So, in the top pouch here, I've got two approach discs. Uh, now, I use premium plastic discs in this pouch right here because I find it to be a lot easier to get them in and out. The tackier plastic, the baseline plastics, they tend to stick a little bit inside. That's why I prefer to use these here. Now, in this pocket, I've got two of my putters. I put with the maidens. Now, I, I specifically have two in here just because I find that the more discs that I put in this pocket, the trickier it gets for these discs to come out. You could easily fit probably five or six discs in here, but then it gets a little bit harder to pull these out. So I prefer to just use two, but certainly it's up to you. Uh, so I got two up here in the top, two in the pocket here, and then I've got 18 discs in this main compartment. I've got three putters, then one, two, three, four, five mids, and the rest of them are fairway drivers and drivers. So a good assortment of discs, but still plenty of capacity in the main compartment. And plenty easy to get discs in and out. Uh, as far as other storage goes, in this compartment here, I keep my uh, scorekeeper, whatever this thing is called. And I have two minis. Oversized mini, when I'm in the fairway, when I want to re-throw the disc that I just threw, or this Kobe, a mini that I got Dymax that I just keep in my pocket but for storage between rounds I keep both of them up here and of course a pencil. You could keep a disc there as well totally up to you. Um, I don't need it but if there was a tournament where I really felt like an extra disc was necessary I would probably put it in that pouch. Uh, this front pocket here I've got two knee savers and you could use that pocket for your scorekeeper for um, rule book whatever you wanted it's got plenty of space on there and over time it'll probably stretch out a little bit to make it a little bit easier to access as well all right so in the side you can see that I keep my umbrella I live in Washington so rainy rounds are definitely a thing so it's nice to keep that there as long as the zipper is closed it's not an issue it stays nice and stable it doesn't wiggle around too much but easy to pull out regardless. All right, we'll open up the side pocket. I've got extra towel. I've got my flight towel for practice. Before round start, uh, staying warm if there's a backup. I've got this for my snacks. Try to make sure you have plenty of snacks. I have some gummies. Nice to have a little bit of sugar in the round as well. What else have I got down here? Oh, and extra pair of socks. So as you can see, you could fit quite a bit in one of the side pockets. And then on the side, I've got a 32 ounce bottle, but I have a 40 ounce bottle as well that I use. If I feel like it's gonna be rounds where I need extra water, then I'll use that 40 ounce, but it fits quite a bit in the side pockets. Now, in this side pocket right now, I've got a dynamic disc a Ranger uh, Rainfly, it actually fits the Trooper. It doesn't fit it perfectly. It's uh, actually quite a, a snug fit, but it does fit. So if you're curious and you want to try it out, you can. Um, when they release a Rainfly for the bag, custom for the bag, 100% I'll be end up buying one of those. But in the meantime, this dynamic, this Trooper Rainfly is gonna work just fine. And then down here, I've got my rain coat as well. It folds up nice into a small little bag and it unfolds into the, the rain jacket. If I'm playing in a summer round where I feel like I extra water is necessary or if I want to have juice, then I would use the side pocket for that. But now that it's fall, I, it's working just fine with these two rain accessories on the extra 
drink compartment on the side. Uh, this is another thing that I would be using during the summer, but right now I have it attached just for benefit for you guys to see. But this is a, a cooling towel that you just put water on and then I put it around my neck to keep myself a little bit cooler during a hot round. But that attaches nice on the side. I also have a bag tag and on the other side I've got a Team Trilogy bag tag. So there's quite, let's see, there's one, two, three, four of these places on each side where you can hang things that you wanted. So it's great. On this side I've got a pen as well. So plenty of things that you could use that for. All right, let's peek into this other side compartment. So I've got my rangefinder. I've got this pencil pouch with different colored Sharpies and an extra pen. I've got this pouch that I keep on the side. I don't know if you can see it too well, but here there's a little elastic pouch inside that helps keep things organized. So there I've got my car keys. My other set of keys that includes a tick key. You should always have a tick key around when you play disc golf. Then I have tweezers if I need that for getting stuff out of my shoes, my socks, uh, or, uh, you know, forbid, maybe a thorn goes into a disc, I can pull that out with that as well. I've got toenail clippers to anything hanging off the disc. Maybe I get a really bad gouge and I want to clean it up just a little bit. Also, chapstick. So you can see I like to keep things organized. I don't like to have that floating around in there. Things get lost easier. It's harder to, to find stuff, so I like to keep it organized in the little pouch. Also, there's the, your rule book and this um, reusable scorekeeper as well. Another towel. Let's see, I got this. It's a headphone case that I keep Pico Minis in, in case I'm playing with friends and we want to take some drinks out on the course, then we could keep it covered with those. Again, like to keep things organized. And I have two balls, a softball and a tennis ball. We all get this stuck in trees, it's nice to keep those around. And then my whale sack at the bottom. So again, you could fit just a ton of stuff into the side pockets. I forgot to mention, I actually keep this on the other side, my wallet, in the other elastic pouch on the other side. So, as you can see, the paratrooper has massive amount of capacity, not only for discs. Uh, I carry 22 discs in a typical tour tournament round, but you could easily carry more than that. You could probably go up to 26 discs in this bag without much issue. Um, I personally don't find it necessary, but you might. Um, I've got a team, uh, a Trilogy Challenge towel clipped up here on the side on the zipper. Both of these will close. So during rain rounds, you will definitely want to do that and keep your disc dry. You can keep a third disc up here, but if you do that, then this is going to have a harder time closing. So keep that in mind. All right, let's see. Am I forgetting anything else? Not really. I guess I could just show off the bag a little bit. On the back, you got the padding. I used the, the Ranger bag for over a year. I did like the Ranger. I just didn't like that the storage was mainly in one big compartment. Everything was kind of just floating around in there. I kind of wanted to keep it separate, and that's what's really great about this bag. The straps aren't quite as padded as the Ranger. But I'll say, these pat the padding on here is plenty comfortable. I actually think the way the back is designed and the way the bag fits on the back is a little bit more ergonomic than the Ranger. So personally, I found it to be a little bit more comfortable. But that's gonna depend on the user. Now, I replaced some of these front uh, zipper pulls. The ones that come standard on the bag, these, are plenty nice. They got the little plastic or rubber, whatever it is, on the, the ends of it to keep it nice and uh, looking new for a longer period of time. But personally, I wanted to get these cool paracord zipper poles that I bought online. So more than welcome to do that. Uh, the bag has the ability to be able to switch those around, which is really nice. 
another feature on the bottom of both of the drink side pouches you got little holes at the bottom so if you end up leaking it all it's not going to stain the bottom of the bag it should mostly drip out which is really nice plus on the bottom you got the, the nice hard feet to keep the bag uh, off the wet surface which is really great it should increase the longevity of the bag plus I found that this bag actually stabilizes really well on the side of a hill uh, I played in a, a league round just yesterday with some very very steep hills and the bag never tipped over. Uh, maybe it's because I have extra stuff in these side pockets, but it helps really keep the bag stable between the feet and the really wide base to make sure the bag doesn't tip over really easily as well. And I don't know what it is that they did with the bag, but the front to back stability is equally just as good on this bag. So awesome design, super comfortable, great color as you can see. I like to to do the blue with everything, coordinate. Even some of my discs are blue. So I really have no complaints about the bag, really. Um, yeah, I can't really think of any complaints off the top of my head. The bag is a great size. It fits just a ton of stuff, as you can really see. And it's really easy getting the disc in and out of the bag makes it really comfortable to use. I cannot recommend this bag anymore. Um, maybe I'll even try, actually, towards the end of this. So, you know what? Get yourself a paratrooper bag. I was gonna show you putting on the Rainfly, but it is a little tricky. It takes a bit of time. Um, maybe that's something better for you to figure out on your own. But yeah, this bag is absolutely awesome. Love it. Go up go out and get yourself a new paratrooper.